Hey guys, it's Miles, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to increase significantly the conversions on your opt-in pages, your funnels, in ClickFunnels. Now, this is the third time making this video. I was, so you can see that I'm here down in the right-hand corner of your screen, and when I was in ClickFunnels and changing stuff and moving stuff around, I was basically covering up everything I was doing, so I got it down this time. I'm gonna move myself around the screen whenever I'm doing certain things so it won't be an issue. So hopefully we can uh, we can make this work this time, guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you something that a lot of people, a lot of newbies, a lot of new people to ClickFunnels don't realize, and even people that have been using it for a while, um, who are you know getting conversions, are driving traffic to their landing pages, whether that be like a squeeze page for a lead magnet, whether they're an agency and they're running traffic to some sort of offer. They're, they're getting conversions, but I'm gonna show you something that you can do that will actually increase your conversions even more, okay? And this is something that I think is super important that you understand, so pay attention, watch this whole video. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step, um, how to make sure that you're optimizing your funnels the right way. So guys, we are here on the ClickFunnels dashboard. And if you guys don't have ClickFunnels yet, if you've been thinking about it, if you've been on the edge, uh, in the description below, I have a link to a 14 day free trial. Now that is an affiliate link. So, you know, I will earn a commission off of that. Um, you know, it helps me out. It helps me to continue to make these videos for you guys to give you all this free valuable content and uh yeah so if you don't have click funnels yet you've been on the edge about it and you want to sign up at least just try it out guys it's 14 days no commitment you can cancel it before it's over um if you cancel it before it's over they're going to offer you an actual uh it's a discounted price so if you want to do that you can go that route i think you get like five free funnels with the uh with the discounted cheaper version i think it's like 30 bucks a month or something like that so check that out guys Links in the description, but let's get going with this video. I wanna get moving as fast as possible. What we're gonna do guys on the ClickFunnels uh, page here, the dashboard, we're gonna go to funnels and we're gonna hit build funnel, okay? So we're gonna go to generate leads right here and we're just gonna pick a basic, uh, where's the squeeze page at? Squeeze page funnel, okay. So squeeze page funnel guys, if you're not familiar, it's you know, a squeeze page is used to just get an email address. So it's normally just a two page. It's a, a squeeze page, like an opt-in page, and then a thank you page. So we're just gonna do this because it's easy. There's Brunson, the boy. And we're gonna click J uh, Jason's squeeze page funnel here. That's my boy Jason. Me and Jason are good friends. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know this dude. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here we are. We are on the ClickFunnels. Uh, steps page here. We're inside of the funnel. These are the steps here on the left. We have the squeeze page and the thank you page. Now we're going to go to edit page here. And here we go. We got Jason looking very dapper and we have the headline here. We have the sub headline and the button. Now this is typically what you're going to see when you open up a template for a squeeze page or an opt-in page, whatever it is. Um, this is actually a really good page for a webinar as well. Like this looks very similar to a webinar registration page. But this is what it looks like on desktop, guys. And this is what a lot of people will, they'll edit everything on the desktop right here. So if you look in the top left corner, you'll see desktop and you'll see mobile. So what a lot of newbies do and a lot of people that just don't really understand how ClickFunnels works is they'll edit everything on desktop and just assume that the mobile version looks right. It looks correct. All this stuff looks the same on desk or on mobile and it, and it does not. It does not at all. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So here's the desktop view, guys. And I'm gonna show you in a second here the mobile view. And I want you, we're gonna do a little quiz, a little mini quiz. And I want you to tell me the first thing that pops in your head, the first thing that you notice that's wrong with the mobile view. Okay, and I'll give you a few seconds. What do you think? If you said that the button is not above the fold, you're correct, you're a very smart person, you're a very smart marketer. Now, what that means, above the fold, okay? This is an old term they used with uh, back in the day in like direct response marketing. And basically, it means that the action, whatever you want the prospect to see is above the fold. So it's above the fold of the paper. So back in the day, it was like the newspaper, so the fold of the paper. So the headline or the call to action you wanted them to see is 
above the fold of the paper. In this, in this uh, case, we're talking about mobile. So above the fold in this case means before they have to scroll, before they have to turn it, before they have to scroll down and see the button. Now, this actually looks terrible. It's funny that this is a ClickFunnels template. Like the button looks bad here. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Like you would have just assumed that, oh, this looks awesome. Like this is my funnel, save, drive traffic. No, this is what they're gonna hit. They're gonna see this. They're gonna have to scroll like what? And then they gotta get to the bottom. They may have bounced before they, before they even scrolled. So the point is we want everything that we want them to do to be above the fold before they have to scroll. Why? Because it causes less friction in the funnel. Friction is not good in marketing. You want to reduce the friction as best as you can. Okay, so guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the desktop version exactly how we have it. This looks good. We have our picture, we have our headline, we have our button. If we were to preview this and this was the page we would land on, okay, cool, we know what, okay, attention. You know, those who are serious about developing your online business uh, to the next level. Uh, discover what you need to know about setting up and running a profitable online business. Okay, we know what we're getting. Okay, we're getting a step-by-step -step blueprint for unlimited wealth. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, we understand this. We know what we're getting out of this. But when we click this, whoops, we don't know what to do before we scroll. We're just seeing a picture of this guy and we're seeing, okay, discover, yeah, whatever. Some people just see this page when they click the link and they'll bounce immediately, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna move this stuff up, we wanna move the button up, we wanna move this ugly button up. So guys, the first step is we need to start to clone and duplicate the things, the elements in this page so that we can move stuff around and make certain things only visible on the desktop view and other things only visible on the mobile view. And how we do that is we set things specifically to be viewable by desktop and mobile only. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna start to just duplicate all of these elements here and move them around. So what I'm gonna do here is for this first thing guys, you're gonna click this button that says clone. It looks like two sheets of paper and you just click that and it's gonna duplicate the element, okay? Now after this, you're gonna hit this gear right here. It's the settings tab and it's gonna open up this. Now I'm actually going to move myself. This is where I messed up earlier. <laughs> So I moved myself now. Okay, so you can see this down here. So we have all mobile only, desktop only. So we want to make this picture only viewable on desktop. It's gonna take us back here and it's still gonna show that we have this other photo. Like we don't want that, right? That looks stupid. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to mobile and we're gonna make this photo go into settings and this one only viewable on mobile. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take the view of that photo off desktop See, and this is our desktop only photo. And if we go back to mobile, this is our mobile only photo. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to do this for every element on the page. Now I know this can be tedious and annoying. And if you have a huge page with a lot of material on it, a lot of text, a lot of photos, a lot of call to actions, this can get annoying, but guys, it is necessary. Absolutely necessary. If you want your pages your mobile optimized pages to look and do exactly what you're looking for the prospect to do. So I'm going to speed this part up. I'm going to duplicate all of these things and I'm going to uh, set this up how we want it. And I'll show you, guys, this is important. You need to pay attention right here because this is where I'm gonna show you exactly what this is gonna look like and how it works, okay? So give me a second. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna do all this. I'll speed it up with editing and you'll see uh, what to do next. Okay, and we're back. That probably took me about 30, 45 seconds, but I've duplicated all the elements here on the page. As you can see on the mobile view, we're seeing everything with the mobile only little tab here. And if we click over to desktop, you're seeing everything with desktop only. And I know this red can be kind of annoying, uh, but let me move this back over here real quick. I know this red can be kind of annoying, but just ignore it, guys. This is necessary if you want these pages to work out 
you know, how we're setting these up and if you want them to convert better. You need to do this, okay? So we're gonna go back to mobile, guys, and we're going to move stuff around. Now, since we have all these elements set to mobile only, it's not going to affect how our desktop uh, look looks. So it's not going to affect the desktop view. So we're gonna move these things we have below here up, okay? So we're gonna move this headline up. We're just gonna click and drag it up. We're gonna put it above this photo. We're gonna do the same thing for this sub headline. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for this button. Okay, and you know, let's move this stuff up as well. This might be your company logo or you know, whatever it is. Okay, so now that we have this stuff up in order, the photos below, now we have all the information above the photo or the button, excuse me, looks terrible, <laughs> but it is above the fold. Let's go ahead and move this up a little bit and let's lower this font because that just looks terrible. Let's do it like right there. And sorry guys, this is stuff you don't really need to worry about. I'm just kind of trying to make this look a little bit better, but there we go. So that's it. Done. You might want to adjust these font sizes, but guys, this is how we want it to look on mobile because now we have the headline, we have the sub headline, it, it shows everything that they're getting, it shows the button, they know what they clicked on, they now know, you know, maybe this ad was for, you know, how to set up your, and run your profitable business, whatever. Wherever you're driving traffic from, they now hit this page, they see the logo, there's res they're, they're resonating with the ad or wherever they saw the, wherever they clicked from, they're seeing that, okay, this is the same message, Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I clicked on. Okay, oh, here's the blueprint button. They'll click it. Now, if we click the desktop view, it's the same way we had it when we first clicked uh, When we first clicked into the funnel. It's the same thing. Now, I think this is a little different because I didn't duplicate this dotted line here, so I think everything moved off this margin a little bit. Um, I can actually just go ahead and move this up and move this up a little bit so it fits a little bit better. Whatever, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I didn't duplicate this this element, my mistake, but you would do that and just adjust everything accordingly. But guys, that's it, that's it. We I just showed you how to effectively optimize your landing page for mobile and how to get them to get out all everything you want above the fold for mobile. Oops, whatever, don't mind that. I don't know what that was. I think I have another tab opened. Anyways. Guys, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Just make sure that all your elements are mobile only or have, that you've duplicated everything and that you've set the different elements to desktop and mobile only. So duplicate your elements, set one to desktop, one to mobile, and then move everything on the mobile view where you want it. And that's it. Guys, you will see an increase in conversions. You will uh, see cheaper clicks or you will see you're getting your conversions for cheaper because you're gonna be converting more people with the same amount of money that you spent because you're moving the actions, the call, call to actions, the messages above the fold. And yeah, this is how you guys should set up your funnels. This is how you should set up your landing pages every time. Okay, guys, if again, if you don't have ClickFunnels, there's a link in the description for the 14 day free trial. I hope you take advantage of that. It's a great, great software to use. It's helping me in my, my business and I know it'll help you in yours as well. Guys, if you found this video to be helpful in any way, please leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, get back to you and help you out in any way that I can. You can message me on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. And uh, that's it guys. And until next time, peace.